Hi, my name is Kelly Lindell. After 20 years as a fitness instructor, I started a home care agency to help seniors stay independent. After working closely with hundreds of folks over 50, I'm back to preaching fitness because I am convinced, and tons of research support my beliefs, that the number one thing you can do to stay healthy as you age is to be active. Face it, we're all aging, but let's not take it sitting down. Come on, join me, let's go get active. Hi, I'm Kelly Lindell. Thank you for joining us today. Did you know that each year, one third of all adults over 65 fall? Millions of seniors suffer from fractures and end up in nursing homes or hospitals with an average cost of nearly $27,000 per fall. That's right, $27,000 per fall. We don't want you to be one of those statistics. So, on today's program, we are going to introduce you to some exercises that will help you stay flexible, increase your strength, and improve your balance. This style of exercise is known as yoga. <laughs> but wait, don't get scared off. I won't make you do headstands or backbends. I'm going to show you how to modify some of these popular movements to make them safer for you. These exercises don't require any special equipment other than a sturdy chair, and they are extremely effective for helping you stay strong and avoid falling. So stick with us, and we'll be back in just a moment to get started. Tradition Independent and Assisted Living Community is the recipient of the 2011 Maddox Award for Excellence in Senior Housing. Let us enhance your life. It's our tradition. Comfort Keepers is dedicated to keeping seniors safe, healthy, and independent by providing a full range of in-home services to fit your needs. We're always here to help. Stay active, stay engaged. Managing hearing loss is key to staying active and engaged. Come visit Heidi at the Hearing Health Clinics of Hopkins and Osseo. When it's time to start looking at options for senior living, feel free to call Heritage Place of Roseville at 651-489-3293. Welcome back. I'd like to introduce you to a couple of my friends, Ruby and Bonnie. Ruby will be demonstrating the exercises from a sitting position. If you have any structural limitations like a hip or knee replacement, or even if you get dizzy easily, please follow Ruby's demonstrations. Bonnie and I will be demonstrating the exercises from a standing position and if you feel comfortable and able I encourage you to do them from a standing position because anytime you're bearing your body weight you're actually helping to increase your bone density and keep your bones much stronger. We'll get started by doing a few nice deep breaths. Feet are about hip width apart if you're standing. If you're in the chair you can slide your hips towards the edge of the chair and take a nice deep breath just reaching overhead filling those lungs with oxygen. Exhale and release. And again, inhale up and exhale down. One more time, getting that blood flowing. Inhale and exhale. Relaxing your arms down and begin to roll the shoulders forward, releasing any tension from your shoulders and neck. And pause briefly and then switch directions, rolling back and opening that chest. We carry a lot of tension in our neck and shoulders. These stretches are wonderful to do anytime. Now pause in the center. We're gonna squeeze your shoulders up to your ears, hold it nice and tight, and then exhale, pressing down. And inhale, squeezing those shoulders up. And exhale, pressing down. One more time, squeeze up. And exhale, pressing down. Continuing to hold those shoulders down, I'd like you to drop your right ear to the side. Stretching and lengthening the muscles of your neck. And slowly begin to roll that chin forward. And slowly to the opposite side. Pausing if you feel any tension in your neck and allow the muscles to just relax and lengthen. And then slowly rolling back to the other side. And one more time down to the center and up to your left shoulder. And bringing your head over your heart and relax. Moving on now, we're going to move to our lower body and do some exercises with our legs. We're going to be doing just simple knee lifts. And again, Bonnie and I will be standing using the chair for balance and support. And Ruby will be doing the exercises just lifting her legs from the floor. Begin by just lifting one heel off the floor 
and then down. Lift the other heel off the floor and down. You may choose to stay in that position with your foot in contact with the floor or if you feel comfortable and confident you can begin lifting that leg up. Lifting that knee towards your chest and again options you can either have your hand on the back of the chair for balance and support or you can allow your arms to fro flow freely and just travel along lifting forward and down. Lift and release and as you lift exhale and contract the muscles of your abdomen and release, lift, and release. One more with each leg, please. Great job. And last one, and release down. Now, Bonnie and I are gonna be doing a balance pose, and Ruby is gonna be demonstrating a wonderful hip stretch. She's gonna put her right heel up on her knee and just allow that knee to relax to the side. While Bonnie and I are resting our heel, the right heel goes into our shin. This is called a tree pose and is excellent for enhancing your balance and really your core stability. So our foot can stay in contact with the floor so you have a balance kind of like a kickstand or you can walk that leg up as far as you feel comfortable and relaxing the knee to the side. And thinking of a long string kind of coming up through the top of your head, lifting your body nice and long. Options for this also, hands can be on the chair, out to your sides, or at your heart, wherever it feels most appropriate, where you feel most balanced. Releasing that down. Excellent, shake the legs out a little bit. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So our left heel comes up. And again, choosing the position that's most comfortable for you, either toe in contact with the floor or slowly walking it up your leg. And wherever that foot is placed, you wanna think about relaxing that knee to the side, opening up the hip joint and then choosing your arm position, either on the chair, the side, or at your heart. And again, envision that string lifting the top of your head, lengthening your spine. Inhale, and exhale. And inhale, and release down. Wonderful job. Relaxing and shaking those legs out a little bit. Now we are going to alternate doing some warrior lunges. We start by stepping one leg back. Your back foot is turned out and Ruby here is gonna be extending her legs forward. So one leg is out and then you're gonna come back together or down and then the, the opposite leg goes out. And the back foot for, the, for Bonnie and I who are standing is turned outward so you have a nice strong base. And then inhale together, exhale back or apart and together, apart, and we'll repeat this maybe four or five times just to get your blood flowing. And again, choose where you're comfortable. You can have your hands on the chair or you can allow them to kind of flow with the movement. Exhale and inhale. Exhale, let's do two more of those. We're almost there. And one more set. Last one, stepping together and then bringing your right leg back in the same position we've been. Ruby is gonna turn her body to the right and she is gonna keep one hip in contact with the, ch the chair so that it can support her to do these exercises. These are called warrior lunges. We're gonna bring our arms directly out to the side, balancing over the center of your legs, taking a nice deep breath, inhale, Exhale and sink your hips down a little deeper, challenging your strength. And then slowly bring the same arm and leg forward so your left arm and leg are forward. And continuing to hold that pose, feeling nice and strong like a warrior, like its name. Inhale. And as you exhale, drop that back hand to your thigh and reach the front arm up overhead. So reaching up and letting the weight of gravity kind of sink you down into the pose. Inhale, exhale, and bringing that arm down. Both arms come forward and stepping together. Excellent job. Those ones can really challenge your strength and are great for building from the base up for, to prevent falls. Now we're gonna step the left foot back and Ruby is gonna turn towards us this time, starting with her arms extended out to the side and taking a nice deep breath, inhale, 
Exhale down, sinking those hips down deeply. And you want the weight of your body to be right in the center of your legs so you're nice and balanced. And you may realize, too, that when you have a fall, we're used to doing everything in a linear motion. And anytime you can get yourself out of that, that stationary stance, you're really going to help to improve your balance. And now bring the same arm and leg forward, so right arm and leg. Reaching, relaxing the shoulders and neck. Inhale, exhale, and sink a little deeper. And dropping that back arm down, the front arm reaches towards the sky, lengthening through your rib cage, and sinking a little deeper into the hips. Nice deep breaths as you hold the pose. And exhale, and don't be afraid if you feel your body shaking a little bit. That is natural and exactly where you want to be to increase your strength. Bring the hand down and slowly stepping those legs together. Wonderful. Those are pretty challenging, aren't they? Okay, we can shake out a little bit and relax. Shake out those legs. The next exercise we're going to do is called a chest expansion and an airplane. I'd like Ruby to sit to the edge of her chair and Bonnie and I are going to step back a little ways from the chair just so that we're within fingers reach. Starting out by inhaling, rolling those thumbs up and back and opening your chest nice and wide. Expanding the chest as you inhale, and then you're going to exhale as you roll the palms down and slowly come forward with your chest. Lifting that tailbone behind you and stretching through the back of your legs. Release your hands down to your thighs and slowly bring yourself back up into an upright position. And let's do that again. We're going to inhale, open our chest wide. Exhale, palms to the floor as your chest rolls forward. Releasing those hands to your thighs, bringing your body upright. And once again, inhale, opening the chest. We spend so much time hunched over that the muscles of our back and chest can get very tight and tense. This is a wonderful exercise to do to release that tension. Roll your palms down to the floor, chest comes forward. Your back ideally is nice and flat, your neck is relaxed. And releasing your hands to your thighs, coming up nice and tall and relax. The last time we're going to do this, open that chest nice and wide, roll the palms down, coming forward, and from here I'd like you to bring your hands to your knees and slowly melt your body forward, just releasing the tension from your low back, allowing your head and neck to relax, and just lengthening that whole spine. Now slowly walking those hands up your legs, Slowly bringing your head back above your heart. If you feel dizzy at all or lightheaded, just pause for a moment and start again when you can. So now, if I told you that you could cut your risk of falling by 40% with two easy exercises, you could do that, right? Well, the American Physical Therapy Association states that two simple exercises done regularly can decrease your risk of falling by 40%. That's right, cutting your risk almost in half. And this is one of them. Bonnie and I are going to come around in front of the chair, and then I'm going to invite Ruby to stand up with us as well. This is a very safe movement because the chair is right behind us. Starting with your legs right in front of the chair, you're going to bring your arms out in front of you as you slowly slide your hips like you're going to have a seat. But then keep your hips a couple inches off of the floor. Now inhale, coming up, releasing those arms down to your side. And relax, coming down, sitting those hips towards the chair again, and stand up nice and tall. This exercise, if you can just weave it into your day, we'll repeat it a few times here as an example, but weaving it into your day to try to make it a habit. So try this. Before you sit down for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, maybe do five of these. So you do five in a row, and that way, before each meal, you accumulate five by the end of the day, you'll have reduced your risk of falling. And last one. Well, this time we're going to allow you to go all the way down to the chair, having a seat and maybe shaking out your legs a little bit. The next exercise is called a modified tabletop. We'll be working on those important muscles in your shoulders, arms, and neck. We're going to start by putting your hands on the arms of the chair, sliding your hips to the edge of the chair, 
and simply lifting those hips off of the chair. Your elbows are back behind you. Again, this is called a modified tabletop, and you're really working the muscles of your arms and shoulders. Slide your hips back down and take a little break. Bring your arms in front and allow them to come back again as we lift those hips off of the floor. This is the starting position for a tabletop. You can also make it a little more challenging by extending your legs out in front of you, and then it's called a modified plank. Choose the option that's best for your strength level. And again, sliding the hips down, bringing your arms forward, and last time bringing those arms back and lifting the hips off of the ch chair. Choosing the position that's right for you, either your feet closer to the chair or extended. And if you feel your arms shaking, again, that is okay. Now slide those hips down, and we're done with that one. Bring your hands in front of you. If you remember the old TV show, Charlie's Angels, this is called the Charlie's Angel. We're going to round out our back, stretching through the shoulder blades, and sit up nice and tall. And again, round out the back. Sitting up nice and tall. And as you do this, think about the bones all the way from your neck all the way down to your pelvic bone and rounding each one out at a time. Pulling your belly button in towards your spine. And release, sitting up nice and tall. Again, let's think of that invisible zipper, getting our bodies nice and long and tall. This next exercise is gonna be for our core, our abdomen. It's called a V-sit and it is really important for keeping your midsection strong, keeping your back strong. We're gonna start out by sitting right at the edge of your chair. Your feet are nice and firm on the floor. Arms come out in front of you and simply just slide your shoulders back until they touch the back of your chair. Try not to rest at the back and then sit up nice and tall again. Again, slide those shoulders back and up. Sliding the shoulders back, holding it here. Try to keep your shoulders off of the chair, just near the chair, and begin to extend one leg out in front of you. Breathing as you hold the position. So even when you're holding a position, you always want to breathe freely to prevent any lightheadedness or dizziness. Release that leg down and sit up nice and tall, stretching your abdomen. And exhale, sliding those shoulders back. And now lifting the left leg up. This is much harder than it looks. Looks like you're just kind of reclining and resting, but you're doing your abdomen a world of good. Release that leg down and sit up nice and tall. And one more, slide back. And the right leg extends. Sit up nice and tall. How many should we do these? You guys want to do 20, 50? <laughs> and extend the other leg. Holding it there, keeping that abdomen nice and firm. Release and sit up. And last, we're going to sit again at the edge of our chair and gently turn to the right side, just doing a torso turn, looking over your back shoulder and coming to the center. And again, exhale, now turning to the left. Feel free to use the arm of that chair to add a little resistance and exaggerate the stretch, looking over your back shoulder and center. And one more to each side. We're going to turn right, gently pressing against that leg to add a little bit of tension to the twist. And releasing. Feels fabulous for your low back, releasing tension from your spine. Turn. And again, gazing over that back shoulder. And coming to the center. And relax. We'll be back in just a few moments to do some relaxation stretches. So grab a drink of water and we'll be back with you in just a minute. At Tradition Independent and Assisted Living Community, we go above and beyond your expectations. As the recipient of the 2011 Award for Excellence in Senior Housing, we offer the highest quality of living and choices for seniors. We provide independent, independent plus and assisted living services. Our nursing staff is available 24-7 and an in-house GPS tracking system is available for your comfort and safety. Our Itamarie restaurant boasts made from scratch food at every meal. Let us enhance your life. It's our tradition. 
there are some things that change your world for the good. The day we met Debbie, Dad's comfort keeper, was a true Independence Day for him. Finding someone who cares for Dad in amazing ways. Not just what she does for him, cooking, cleaning, and errands, but there's this bond, how they laugh and share memories. Knowing Comfort Keepers is there helping Dad live independently at home has made all the difference in both our worlds. Let Comfort Keepers bring comforting in-home care home to you. Stay active, stay engaged. Managing hearing loss is key to staying active and engaged. Audiologist Heidi Hill offers expert advice and a wide range of hearing devices that she will custom fit for your specific needs. Heidi set these ears just perfectly. Heidi also offers a variety of free monthly classes that provide ongoing education and support. Let me help you hear what you've been missing. Come visit Heidi at the Hearing Health Clinics of Hopkins and Osseo. When it's time to start looking at options for senior living, it can sometimes feel like an overwhelming task. Here are some helpful tips to consider. Know exactly what is and isn't included in your monthly rent. It should be conveniently located to doctors and local businesses. Be sure there are options for additional services that may be needed for future care. If you have any further questions about senior living, feel free to call Heritage Place of Roseville at 651-489-3293. We're back. How are you doing? I hope your muscles are feeling a little challenged. Let's relax and stretch out a bit to cool down. We're going to start by sitting up nice and tall. Your feet are a little bit wider than hip width apart. Your back is nice and straight and you're gently going to lean forward and slowly come down allowing your chest to just rest on your thighs, allowing your hands to come down towards the floor and your neck and head just kind of dangle and relax towards the floor. Releasing any tension from your low back, from your neck, all the way through your spine. Then slowly walking those hands up your legs. Coming up nice and tall. And if you feel lightheaded at all, just take a couple nice deep breaths. Oh, aren't these exercises great? One of the many things I love about yoga is that it's challenging, yet it's so gentle on your joints that you can actually do it every day. I'd like to encourage you this week to keep exercising a little bit every day because that's when you'll really see some improvements. For our next exercise, we're going to lift our right ankle up and just cross it over the opposite knee into a tailor sit. And sitting up nice and tall, you're going to gently lean forward from your hips, trying to keep your back straight. You should feel a wonderful stretch in your hips all along the outer side of your hip. Then slowly lifting up. Relaxing that leg down and switching to the opposite side. Again, always starting with a nice, long, tall body, bending forward from your hips and feeling that stretch all through the hip joint. This is a wonderful exercise to keep your hips relaxed. I like doing this one on a regular basis. Now sitting up nice and tall again, release that leg down and taking a nice deep breath, reach overhead. Dropping your right hand behind your head, take your left hand and gently pull that elbow towards the center of your head. Stretching through the upper back and shoulder, and if you'd like, you can gently lean to the side to get a little bit more of an exaggerated stretch. Come back to the center and release those hands. Now your left hand drops down, and your right hand is just going to gently pull that in towards the center of your head. Nice deep breath, and feel free to lean to the side if you'd like, or stay in the center, whichever is most comfortable. Sitting up nice and tall and releasing those arms down, relaxing your hands on your legs and just taking a couple nice big shoulder circles. Relax the tension from your shoulders and neck. And then squeezing those shoulders up to your ears. Exhale and press down. And again, squeeze the shoulders up. And exhale down, dropping your head to one side and rolling that chin forward. Up to the opposite shoulder. Pause briefly and then down to the other side again. Now bringing your head back into the center. This one feels a little odd, but you're gonna pull your chin in towards your neck. Making that lovely triple chin if you can. And release, releasing the tension from the back of your spine. Now I invite you to slide back into your chair and just take a rest a little bit. I invite you, if you'd like to close your eyes and just listen to my voice for a moment. 
taking a nice deep cleansing breath inhale and exhale inhale and exhale continue to relax as you picture your lungs like a balloon filling with air pause and then slowly release that balloon letting it sail gently away taking along with it any stress or tension from your body again filling that balloon completely and then release allowing your body to feel lighter as any stress drifts off with the balloon continue that nice deep breathing until you're ready to start moving again wiggle your toes and your fingers feeling the energy flowing through your body I thank you so much for joining us and we look forward to seeing you again next week for Active Aging. At Tradition Independent and Assisted Living Community, we go above and beyond your expectations. As the recipient of the 2011 Award for Excellence in Senior Housing, we offer the highest quality of living and choices for seniors. We provide independent, independent plus, and assisted living services. Our nursing staff is available 24-7, and an in-house GPS tracking system is available for your comfort and safety. Our Itamarie restaurant boasts made-from-scratch food at every meal. Let us enhance your life. It's our tradition. There are some things that change your world for the good. The day we met Debbie, Dad's comfort keeper, was a true Independence Day for him. Finding someone who cares for Dad in amazing ways. Not just what she does for him, cooking, cleaning, and errands, but there's this bond. How they laugh and share memories. Knowing Comfort Keepers is there helping Dad live independently at home has made all the difference in both our worlds. Let Comfort Keepers bring comforting in-home care home to you. Stay active, stay engaged. Managing hearing loss is key to staying active and engaged. Audiologist Heidi Hill offers expert advice and a wide range of hearing devices that she will custom fit for your specific needs. Heidi set these ears just perfectly. Heidi also offers a variety of free monthly classes that provide ongoing education and support. Let me help you hear what you've been missing. Come visit Heidi at the Hearing Health Clinics of Hopkins and Osseo. When it's time to start looking at options for senior living, it can sometimes feel like an overwhelming task. Here are some helpful tips to consider. Know exactly what is and isn't included in your monthly rent. It should be conveniently located to doctors and local businesses. Be sure there are options for additional services that may be needed for future care. If you have any further questions about senior living, feel free to call Heritage Place of Roseville at 651-489-3293.